Hello, welcome to Clydesdale Homestead. I'm very excited. It's dark outside, but I just wanted to make this video right now because I have finished the first step in my Three Rivers Homestead Pantry Challenge, which was for me to clean out my refrigerator and freezer in the kitchen and make it functional, use up what needs to be used up, throw out what needs to be thrown out, organize what I have, and so I can see where I need to go from here. Um, the rules of the Three River Pantry Challenge are that you get to make your own rules. So some people are trying to go two months without going to the grocery store, um, maybe learning new recipes, and a lot of us are including using up what we have already so we don't waste foods, so we save money, and kind of get through those, those harder to use items that we all have stored. We always tend to reach for the easy things when we are making meals, and sometimes we just have to buckle down and use that piece of meat or those <laughs> veggies or something that we're not used to. So that's what we're working on. So I wanna show you what I have accomplished since the last video. Okay, here is the refrigerator. Ta-da! Clean and everything. <laughs> uh, so a few things that are new in here. I haven't gone grocery shopping. I haven't gone grocery shopping since before Christmas and it's oh, the middle of January now. Um, but that's fairly normal for us. So some things that are in here from the last video, uh, not in, excuse me, things that are new in the refrigerator. We weren't in here the last time before I cleaned it all out. We grabbed a chicken out of the freezer in the garage to thaw for our Sunday dinner. Got some whey out of the freezer to thaw. I've been making some fermented yogurt and that. Um, Carolyn at Homesteading Family has a great video on how to do that and it's good mayonnaise. We had tacos on Tuesdays. So we got a little leftover salsa, some fried beans, some rice left over. Um, we picked up our milk our milk runs. We've got new milk for the week. This is something that's still thawing and I'm not sure what it is. It could be cream, but now I'm looking at the color. It might be a potato or a cauliflower soup or something. So that's still thawing. The jury's out on that. <laughs> With some of the items from the freezer, we made a delicious turkey soup. Both my husband and I love to cook and my husband made this turkey soup. You know it's good turkey soup when it jiggles when it's cold. <laughs> Very good. So we ate that um, Wednesday night and there's enough for leftovers for sure. Another meal we had was we found some frozen ham and bean soup. We ate that tonight. So cheese and meat drawer all organized throughout the yucky stuff. I put up here the vegetables we need to eat probably first. And this is new. Um, my mom orders her groceries delivered. She lives with us. Um, I do too. But sometimes they substitute things when you don't have exactly what you want. And this was a substitution that she didn't want it. I think she ordered a romaine and they gave her a butter lettuce. So she gave that to us. We eat that up. And then I organized. This was the worst drawer. We got our carrots. It came from a local garden. Almost in here, and these, you know these are straight from the dirt carrots, but they work. They store just great in here, and these are all beets. I'm gonna make a beet salad for sure tomorrow. This nice butter lettuce, the beets, and then I got out some cheese, um, homemade to soft cheese to thaw. That's really good on the beet salad. All right, let's look at the freezer. <laughs> so if you watched my video about the freezer before I cleaned it out, you will might remember that I had a lot of frozen stock or broth, bone broth, different types of meat broth. So it turned out we had about 10 quarts of frozen broth in the freezer. Those are all gone. Some of it we used to make that turkey soup. And the rest we put on trays for freeze drying. So the freeze dryer is full of stock right now. And this is our second set of trays. Um, this one actually has sage in it. That's a different topic. Um, but this is the broth. So we thought it just enough to be able to spread it out. 
and then these will pre-freeze until the other ones are done in the freeze dryer. I'm going to pop them right in the freeze dryer and it makes a great freeze-dried stock or like a, a bouillon. So down here I've got, oh I forgot, still got the elderberries in there. <laughs> the one thing I was supposed to take care of I hadn't taken care of yet was the elderberries. Okay, so gotta do the elderberries. Um, we've tried freeze drying elderberries and it just took way too long. They've got a thick skin on them like a blueberry. And with blueberries, they're difficult to freeze dry also because of that thick skin. Okay, so still gotta take care of the elderberries. But our fruit drawer, veggie drawer, you know, squash, cauliflower, chard, oh, <laughs> chocolate chip cookies. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Keep them in there, they're nice and safe. Uh, we've got nuts, pizza crust, the zucchini muffins up here, meats, and pizza toppings. This is our um, flour, our ground wheat flour. We keep it in the fridge to stay fresh in between loaves of bread. Took care of a lot of the ice packs. Yay, one shelf of ice packs is plenty. Moved all the spices and seasoning it's over here. Got the lard all packaged up. Um, these are the open bags that we need to use up. You know, two open bags of peas. Everybody needs that, right? <laughs> and then our random cheese and ice cream butter down there. So as you can see, I've got a lot of empty space in this freezer, which was one of my goals because we will be getting a beef, half a beef soon. And then we need to have room for that in the outdoor freezer. So I can move some things from there into here now. I've got plenty of space to make sure we have room for when our beef comes. It is a weird time of year to be getting a beef, yes but there were some delays at the butcher and then the butcher was injured and so it is what it is we'll be getting our beef hopefully soon so thank you for celebrating with me on my first leg of the pantry challenge the second part of my self-imposed pantry challenge is to organize some of the dry goods products that we had bought just earlier in the month, right before we left on vacation. Haven't had a time to take care of properly yet. Bags of oats, paper bags of rolled oats that are just sitting in the open and that's not okay because we tend to get mice problems if we do things like that. And some winter squashes I need to reorganize. So that will be in my next video. I hope you join me for that. I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subs subscribe. <laughs> and follow along as we continue on the pantry challenge. Thanks for watching.